Karen, good to see you in Singapore. Uh, this feels really significant, both in terms of the division and for you. How important does this fight feel? Oh, you know, I feel like every fight feels like the most important fight in my life. Um, so I'm super excited to be here and uh, be able to fight uh, someone like Talia, who's a, who fought for the title before. Um, yeah, excited to prove myself. Yeah, I, I feel, uh, especially after my last win um, against Jessica, I feel like that kind of put me right into like a title picture. So each of these fights uh, just brings me that much closer. Okay, so you said that, you know, uh, you got a huge win in the last fight. And of course, uh, you can expect if you get the win this this fight, and you, you seem like you can get their uh, next title challenger. Oh, you're saying if I win this fight, I'll be the next title challenger? If you won this fight. Uh, I, I think that's definitely possible. Um, you know, I know uh, Rose and Manon are also fighting, so I feel like there's another big fight in the division. But obviously, I plan on finishing this fight Saturday and uh, becoming the next title uh, challenger. But um, whatever happens, I'm just always focused on what's in front of me, and I know that title's coming. Yeah, okay. And then also that, uh, you know, uh, people want to see just lose or, you know, win or lose. And then uh, they need to watch, in, they want to watch, in, uh, you know, good performance. So what do you want to show to the world to the next fight for getting the title shot? I just want to, I always want to show how well-rounded I am and that I can win a fight anywhere. Um, so that's what I plan on doing Saturday. I plan on outdoing her everywhere the fight goes. Thank you so much. No problem. Uh, 24 years old, uh, ranked third in the world, on your way to getting a title shot. When you were coming up, did you make a plan for yourself? And if so, how's that plan going right now? You know, I never had like a super solid plan that I, I had. I always knew that winning the next fight uh, is always the best thing and that it will get me there faster. Um, but being number three in the world right now, is it, it's, it's kind of something I've always expected out of myself. I always had pretty high standards for myself when it came to fighting. Um, so it, it's going the way I planned, and I, I just plan on winning each fight, and that's the reason I'm here. The division for the longest time saw Valentina dominating. Was it intriguing for you to see the division shaken up a little bit to have a new champion? Oh, definitely. Um, Alexa had a great game plan going into that fight, and uh, you, she, was up, she was losing before then, but she stuck to her game plan and she got to the back and she got Valentina's neck and, and I think it definitely mixed up the division and made it interesting uh, having their rematch coming up and then we'll see how that goes and then having like myself and Talia fight um, it, I feel like it just adds so much uh, dimension to the game, to the flyweight division. Assuming that it all goes well for you um, who is your preference to face Valentina or Alexa? I don't really care. I mean, I'd love to fight Valentina just because of her name recognition. She's been in the UFC forever. But Alexa's is always someone I've had in my eye on, too. Uh, so I feel like I'll end up fighting both girls at some point. Uh, I plan on fighting for a long time, and I don't, I don't think either of them plan on stopping anytime soon. So I see myself fighting both of them. Thank you. No problem. Talia's obviously got a wonderful ground game, as do you. How do you see this playing out in terms of uh, the puzzle you've got to solve here? Uh, I feel like my ground game is definitely superior. Um, you know, she's solid everywhere, and her, her jiu-jitsu solid, but I don't think it's anything that dynamic. I think I, I outwork her there. Uh, I think I work her there on the cage and striking. Um, so I, I definitely uh, expect, like, a solid opponent, but I know I'll, I'll outskill her everywhere. Will you have a message uh, for the two girls fighting for the belt after this fight? Uh, you know, I mean, I, they know I'm coming, and uh, they know I can beat them wherever the fight goes. So I know I'm next for that. Thank you. You know, Erin, so European, American culture, and the Asian culture is very, very different, and then they look at the, this media, you know, it's American media always ask you a lot, but here, you know, not so many people ask you, so what do you think about this kind of things for you? 
Uh, can you repeat that again? So it's American media, it's, you know, when, when you have a, you know, media day, it's actually an American media or media uh, ask you so many things. Yeah. But here, you know, it's a media so shy. So how do you <laughs> feel now? Yeah, it's definitely a little different. Uh, definitely a couple less questions, but, uh, you know, everything's different. And uh, I, I've never been here before, so I didn't really come in with any expectations. <laughs> right. yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate no it. <laughs> Cool, thank you.